You know there's a saying, when it rains, it pours? That's perhaps the perfect adage to describe the current life situation of Aquaman actress Amber Heard, who ever since losing a defamation trial to her ex-husband Johnny Depp, hasn't been able to come out of the shadow of a new controversy every day. Amber isn't out of hot water after the recent defamation case with Depp. The Hollywood duo's long legal battle has been making headlines for years, but definitely heated up once the two met for the defamation lawsuit in Virginia. In the end, the Pirates of the Caribbean actor was the victor, with his ex-wife ordered to pay him $10 million. And there may be some more bad news for Amber Heard, as the actress is reportedly still being investigated over a previous incident, and this time, she may have no option rather than turning herself in. So will she or will she not? Let's find out. Back in 2015, Amber Heard found herself in hot water with the Australian authorities for illegally bringing her Yorkshire Terrier's Pistol and Boo, which she owned with Johnny Depp, into the country without declaring them. She originally pled guilty and the case was closed, but according to several outlets, the case might be coming back to bite her. While the Justice League star may still have to figure out how to pay Johnny Depp those millions of dollars, things are already reportedly heating up with her legal issues in Australia. Namely because the powers that be are reportedly investigating Amber for perjury, specifically that she lied to the Australian authorities about how she brought the dogs into the country. In the worst case scenario for Amber, this could result in a maximum of 14 years of jail time in Australia. Of course, there are a number of circumstances that might prevent this. For one, the actress could simply steer clear of the country, assuming the authorities won't extradite her. We'll just have to see how the drama plays out and if the mother of one actually ends up in another extensive legal battle. According to the report, the 2015 incident came back into focus for folks down under, thanks to Johnny Depp's 2020 libel case against the Sun. The Depp's former estate manager, Kevin Murphy, reportedly told the court that he was asked by Amber to lie under oath about the dogs in Australia. We'll just have to wait and see how the situation shakes out. As I mentioned at the beginning, Johnny Depp was the clear winner when the jury's verdict in their defamation trial was finally revealed. His ex-wife was found guilty on three counts of defamation and ordered to pay around $10 million. The sum is undoubtedly a crippling financial blow, with her lawyer even going on record saying that she won't have a way to pay. It's currently unclear if Depp and his team will actually pursue those millions. Back to our main story. After Amber pleaded guilty to falsifying travel documents in a Gold Coast court in April 2016, the case was closed. However, it was recently reported that a spokesperson from the Australian Government of Agriculture, Water and the Environment confirmed that Amber's perjury case was in fact ongoing. The spokesperson reportedly said, The Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment is investigating allegations of perjury by Ms. Hurd during court proceedings for the 2015 illegal importation of her two dogs into Australia. It looks like the year is full of legal troubles for Miss Amber. Will she go down the drain or come out on top? Only time will tell. In our upcoming videos, we'll be bringing you more of such amazing content. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any of them.